AI and graphic design is now taking a massive leap with the release of Nano Banana Pro. This model is so intelligent that not only can you produce better images with it, but you can ask it to do things that it's never been able to do before. So today I'm going to run through and show you exactly how it all works right within Kittle, who are the sponsor of today's video. Now, Kittle have updated their AI image generator, making it very easy to generate images with Nano Banana. I click on this area here and type in a prompt of what I want to see. I have a portrait of an old man photorealistic. So very simple for now. As you can see, I already have Nano Banana Pro selected. If I click on that, there's Nano Banana Pro as well as Pro 4K. So if I come down here, I can choose my aspect ratio, the number of images I want. And if I hit generate, then this is the image I get, which looks pretty photorealistic. But before I move on and we look a bit deeper into this, I also want to grab Nano Banana Pro 4K and produce the same image, which comes in at a much higher resolution. Now, if we take a closer look, this is the Nano Banana Pro image. And you can see that it's done a great job of making this look realistic down to the wrinkles. They're not sort of too uniform. They look very organic. It's done a really good job of keeping the photorealism down to the little fibers on the jumper. Once again, there's a little bit of inconsistency which makes it look more realistic. AI models have really come a long way and I think this is by far the most impressive one I've seen for a long time. But if we move on to the 4K image, we get that same awesome photorealism. Again, the inconsistencies in the jacket, the more organic sort of wrinkles, and the blurred background works well, but there's actually looks like there's a bit of text in the background. So as far as photorealism goes, this model does a great job, at least with the example we've tried so far. But I also want to mention the resolution. The original Nano Banana Pro image is 1376 by 768 pixels. But when we switch to Nano Banana Pro 4K, what we get is 5504 by 3072. So this means you can get much higher resolution image generations from this model as well. So not only is it a powerful model just for basic image generation, but it's also high resolution. And we haven't even checked out how intelligent this model is yet. But coming back to Kittle, I've kept this image on the canvas and I'm going to click on it, come down. But this time, instead of generating an image, I'm going to go to Remix Image because naturally I can remix one or multiple images, but what I'm gonna do, instead of simply restyling, which I will try a few at later on, I'm gonna just actually ask it to include it in a design. So I'm gonna say, so I say include this image in a social media design advertising art classes every Saturday in Melbourne. Make the style colorful and expressive. And I can change aspect ratio if I want to, so I don't want it to match the input of the image. I'll go one to one. I hit generate and check this out. Image views is basically identical, but Look at the text. Everything makes perfect sense. Art classes every Saturday in Melbourne. Unleash your inner artist. It's actually used its intelligence to create a design and add text, even adding a tagline. And that is really, really impressive. And this is a really big leap for AI because it was very difficult to get this kind of thing straight off the bat. And this is the first image I've created. Every image I've shown you has just been a single image I've created. I haven't created multiples. So you can just see how powerful this tool really is. But coming back to Kittle, I can actually still redesign this further or create variations. So if I click on the artboard with the image in it, and I click over here to create a smart board, the other way I can use Nano Banana Pro in Kittle is to use flows. But to show you the power of Nano Banana Pro, one thing I could do is come down here, and because it's referencing this image, I can say, redesign the social media graphic to look more corporate using a sepia color palette. So I don't know if corporate and sepia go together, but I can ask for something like that and see what it does and use Nano Banana Pro as a designer. I hit generate and see how it's cleaned up the border, made things a little bit more sort of corporate with that sepia look. It's kept the bright uh, sort of title, which does stand out. So that is really, really handy. But here's where it also gets interesting is on top of that, if I decided that I, this was the design I wanted to run with, I can create another smart board. But this time, what I'm going to do is change the aspect ratio to, say, 16 to 9. So I'm going to say, redesign this graphic to fit 16 to 9 for a YouTube thumbnail. So now when I hit generate, it's extended that background a bit, which wasn't quite what I was after. But again, I can always come down here and edit, move the man to the left of the image, and text next to his photo on the right. So I'm just sort of reorganizing things a bit. Hit generate. And you can see how it's reorganized things to fit that space a bit better now. But on top of that, maybe I decide what I need to do is even come back, click on this, add another smart board, which appears down here. And I'm going to say, change the word Melbourne to Brisbane. 
generate that and it has easily changed that to Brisbane. So you can see just how intelligent it is at spotting the words and even retyping them in that same style. Now we can see here it already handles text and typography quite well, but let's test things out a little bit further. My first test was to create a typography vector design with the words create more cool stuff using a serif font and make the design elegant. And I do think it worked quite well. The font is a serif font and it does look like an elegant design. I also tried it at 16 to nine and it created something else, a little bit of scroll work. So there's a little bit of consistency in that style that turned out pretty well with this image. So then I asked for a sans serif design with the same prompt and it hasn't necessarily got it 100% accurate, but it's like 99% of the way there. So it does understand the terminology when it comes to prompting for typography. Then to mix it up, I changed it to say, give it a gritty sci-fi feel, and it still created the text with some effects over it. This might not be the best typography you've seen, but the fact that it's able to create effects within the text and get a bit more artistic with it is also another sign of how intelligent this model is. So then I tried for a more realistic kind of handwritten style, and it still came out pretty neat. But then I realized as I look at the prompt, I still mention the word vector in there, which is obviously why we've got that clean vector look. So I removed the word vector, and this time what I got actually looks like a photo of a handwritten note. And if you look at the text, it's all there and it has real texture. Even that stain on the paper, it just really, really understands things quite well. So to take it a step further, I decided to turn it on a tattoo on someone's back. And this looks like a real tattoo, looks like a real photo, and the text is 100% accurate. I'm super impressed with how Nano Banana Pro handles text. This is definitely a big step up. Now, I think the next logical step when we're talking about graphic design and we've touched on typography would be to step that up to logo design to see how well it handles not just the text, but the ability to generate and design an emblem based on our instructions. So to start off with, I just asked for it to design a logo for Creator Impact. Simple, modern, and suitable for a vector file, and it gave me this. And technically, it got the prompt right, but the design is pretty average. So I referenced my actual logo and asked it to use elements of a flame for creativity and a hand for craftsmanship, and this was definitely a big step up. Still not quite what I was after, but cool. But then I asked for very particular colors with a black background, and this is starting to look a bit more like what I had in mind. So I then moved on to a different logo for an emblem for a text up called Futuro Mind, making it look impressively modern and cool. And I got this cool 3D effect, which I didn't like. So I changed it to say suitable for a vector art file and got this logo, which is a little bit closer to the mark. So you can see you're not gonna get the logo you want straight away. It might take a few uh, sort of iterations, adjusting your prompt, playing around with the style, but essentially, think about the time it takes to actually design a logo by hand. This speeds up the process dramatically. It allows you to come up with different variations, iterations, and ideas all within a few minutes. And then if you decide you want to run with one of those logos, you're not just stuck with a bitmap image. Now, just keep in mind that because we're using Kittle, we can click on this image of this logo here and then come down and vectorize it. Now, we've got three colors. We've got lime, white, and black. So we'll go three colors. Vectorize image. And now we have a vector graphic and we can even change the color of the green to something else if we wanted to as well. And that same process applies for any of these other images which may be suitable for vector art for you to pop onto a t-shirt to sell for print on demand. But on top of that, I can also click on this image here, come down, hit remix, and because it's in here, I can simply ask, straighten up this logo and make it simple, vector-friendly design with flat colors. I hit generate, and although we didn't get the result we wanted, I can still adjust it just one more time using Nano Banana Pro. Straighten this logo up so the text is horizontal and the emblem sits square with it. And see, even though we didn't get it the first time, it didn't take long for us to get it looking exactly the way we wanted to. And then of course, we can still make adjustments to it by clicking on this image, and simply saying, remove the circle and grid, leaving only the text and purple emblem behind. And now we have a minimalist style logo after a few basic steps. So I was able to design and really refine this logo all within about five minutes. Now this is a massive time saver for any designer, but you know, we've seen all this before. It's just a bit better than it was. What's really interesting about this model is the intelligence. Now touch on just how smart this model is when you ask for very unique images or things it just simply couldn't do in the past. So I was able to create this map of Australia in a cool sci-fi style, and it actually added in the locations of the capital cities onto the map accurately. And you see the prompt here was just an accurate maps of Australia, which is a typo, sci-fi UI style, show all capital cities and names. So 
That was what really got me with how impressive this is. It recognizes locations and labels them correctly. So I then asked it to turn a particular joke into a comic. You can see the prompt here. I've just said to turn this joke into a comic featuring two characters. I've told the joke. And if you look at the comic, it reads pretty naturally and it actually works out quite well. So it's really handy because that means if you're someone who wants to create comics very quickly and you've got the dialogue or what you want to say, you can very quickly get Nano Banana Pro to generate them for you. But this is where it gets interesting. I made a mistake or should I call it a happy accident? I accidentally submitted the prompt originally without the joke and just simply asked it for a joke and it actually generated something that works. So without even prompting for a joke to tell, you can see this is actually a real joke. It says, why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. So something that I tell my kids, but that is just really, really cool. The fact that it can source information and come up with a joke without you even telling it what you're after. So this made me realize that I don't actually have to come up with the content. I can come up with a social media post and a motivational quote simply by asking for it. So I did that to see what results I would get. And check this out. I just asked to design me a cinematic social media graphic with a motivational quote on it, and it has sourced the quote for me, which is really, really cool. I really like this next one, which is the only impossible journey is the one you never begin. And so does it because it did it twice. But then it quoted Tony Robbins, which got me thinking, was this actually said by Tony Robbins? So I looked it up and here you can see Tony Robbins wrote that actual quote. But I continued on from there. This time I asked it to create an image of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and naming each one with the text and arrow pointing to them. And it did that accurately, although it named Michelangelo twice and added in a few rogue arrows. But I mean, if you can forgive that, you can see that's actually pretty accurate. But on top of that, I also asked it to create a diagram with the insides of a personal computer and label each component. And if you have a close look, it has actually labeled everything accurately. Everything's in the right spot. And I simply asked it to generate this. It has the information as well as the visual. So that just blew me away. So now you can not only save time with the image creation, but now also with the content when the time calls for it. So what I decided to do was actually try out something else I did recently in another video, and that is I'm gonna ask Nano Banana to just generate a thumbnail for me so I can see what kind of results it produces for that. So I asked for a YouTube thumbnail with the next level AI design in an image that grabs people's attention. You can see we're using Nano Banana Pro there, but also 16 to nine for the aspect ratio so we get the right size image. But this time I'm gonna go with Nano Banana Pro 4K, switch to four images, and hit generate. And what I got was exactly what I asked for. However, I'm not very happy with the style. I don't really like the blue colors of the circuitry. So much like you would any graphic designer, maybe I need to say a little bit more of what I'm looking for style-wise with what I'm creating. So then I adjusted my prompt and asked for it to include an image of a banana since we're looking at Nano Banana Pro. I then asked to make it simple, modern, and use purple and green colors as I thought those colors were a bit more attractive than the blue color. So I've added a little bit more preference in there. So I adjust my settings to match and then I hit generate. And from there, I've got these designs here, which I think look much better, much cleaner and probably work much better as a YouTube thumbnail. So a little bit of additional information does make a big difference in trying to get it what it is you're after when you're asking for these designs. And of course, this last one is the one I went with. So I think that one looks pretty good. And so everything we've done here has been primarily with uh, fresh generations. So how well does it handle existing images when I introduce that into the mix? So I decided to drag in this image from Super Mario Brothers. I then asked it to label each character with their real name. And again, we got an accurate result with Toad, Mario and Yoshi being labeled underneath. I also tested it out by uploading this shot of the United States of America, asked to identify and outline all the states on the map and label them. And as far as I can see, it all seems to be pretty accurate. Now, so far, I've been pretty impressed with everything I've thrown at it. I've been throwing all these different ideas at Nano Banana Pro, and it just seems to do a pretty decent job, or at least something that's better than expected for an AI image model. But there's something else I want to try that's a little bit different. Now, I've downloaded this image of Bruce Lee, and it's actually very low resolution. You can see as I zoom in that the image quality is pretty poor. That's because if I come out, the resolution is only 360 by 450. So you're coming back into Kittle, I have the image here. I click on it, describe, hit remix, and I type in, please upscale this image of Bruce Lee and clean it up. And instead of matching, I'm gonna come up to nine to 16 this time. As matching it may match the resolution, but changing the aspect ratio and asking it to upscale may actually upscale the image. I hit generate, 
And so we have the before and now we have the after. And the resolution is absolutely staggering. We've gone from 360 by 450 pixels up to 3072 by 5504. But also it extended the image because in order to fit the aspect ratio, it actually had to add a little bit of information. But check it out when we zoom in and look at the details. It has been very much cleaned up. It's a massive difference from left to right. And I think it's done a pretty good job of capturing his likeness. So this just goes to show you, you can use it as an upper scaler as well, giving it another level of usefulness when it comes to design. So if you have any ideas, just throw them at Nano Banana Pro and see what it comes up with. But on top of that, because of the extra resolution, that 4K model means it's perfect for print in a lot of different areas. So I decided to just create a t-shirt design at that higher resolution. So one thing Kittle is known for is creating designs for print-on-demand style t-shirts. So I decided to prompt for a dog with sunglasses and a bit of a graffiti style with a bit of text on there. And what the Nano Banana Pro delivered looked pretty good. But on top of that, it's also very high resolution. So even when I go to download it, what I get is a very high resolution image. The design is actually quite solid, but of course, if I zoom in and check out the details, this is an image that I can send straight into Redbubble or some other print on demand service to get printed. And it's not gonna come out too fuzzy. It's actually gonna come out pretty good. You can get a 300 DPI print out of this at a lot of usable sizes. So this makes it a really powerful tool for print on demand. So this means that now you can create t-shirt designs within a few minutes at a decent resolution that you can upload to a print on demand marketplace. So that is a pretty crazy combination when you add in things like the vector conversion and the vector editing, image editing tools, along with everything else Kittle offers. It's really a powerful combination. But a lot of people have been having a lot of fun with Nano Banana Pro online. So I thought I'd share some of the things other people have been able to do by jumping onto X or Twitter, depending on whatever you want to call it, and show you what other people have been able to create with Nano Banana Pro. So some cool examples, one on the Nano Banana Pro page on X.com. They have this before photo, which they were able to repair and enhance. And this looks absolutely incredible. And you can scroll through and see examples that people have created, even step by step, to build images. Well, this one here, create a hand-drawn isometric schematic diagram of the building in this photo. So you can see the photo here and the result down to the labels of text. It's just really impressive what this is able to produce. Well, this prompt in a graphic answer, do banana skins float? And it actually has produced this diagram. So this is more than just an image generator. It's more like a completely intelligent AI baked into an image generator. So I highly recommend you go through and check it out. It's really, really powerful. So when you think about not only the quality of the images, but the fact that this image model now has a much higher level of intelligence compared to most other image models, I think this is actually a bit of a turning point. It might not seem like a big deal, but the fact that we've now stepped into that realm of higher intelligence combined with image uh, generation really makes for an exciting future. And I can't wait to see what happens next. It looks like Nano Banana Pro is definitely becoming a massive heavyweight and probably going to be the leader in the AI image generation space if it keeps going in the leaps and bounds that it has. So definitely recommend trying out Nano Banana Pro. Check it out on Kittle. There is a link in the description below. There's also a discount code so you can have a play with that right now. But otherwise, that is the video for today, guys. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon and have a great day.